Hi folks, quick update here from NYC CNC. Uh, as some of you know from an earlier video, I purchased a new air compressor for my shop, but mostly for the new Torchmate 4x4. And with that air compressor, two stage, five horsepower, you know, nice air compressor, I wanted an air dryer to ensure, uh, or to help ensure the best air quality I can get, uh, which involves getting the moisture out of it. So I bought a refrigerated chiller. This is the Harbor Freight model that's so popular. Um, you know, ballpark, 400 bucks, you can usually find a good coupon, so it's the best option out there. And on the, a lot of the forums and blogs, people seem to say it's a pretty decent unit. Um, mine was freezing up after four or five hours in operation. Um, literally, that something inside the unit was freezing, which was causing me to lose total air pressure, which is obviously a big problem. You can't lose air pressure. So, talked to the folks at Harbor Freight, um, did a little research, and it looks like the problem I was having is not all that uncommon, so I wanted to just quickly show you what I've done. Um, I haven't tested this as a solution, um, but I'll, as you'll see, I think I did from the culprit. Um, the, right below where the power cord is um, laying, underneath this uh, foam sphere, is a pressure valve drain. This is These are the parts of it. I've disassembled it um, that mounts, and this has a... Um, float valve in it and when the water accumulates in this the float valve lifts up and it drains out uh, through an orange hose that I've disconnected from here. The very helpful gentleman at uh, technical support on Harbor Freight said I needed to take this apart and take a look at it and clean it. His thought with it was that water was accumulating in here not draining and when that happens apparently that can cause the thing to freeze. It doesn't look like and I was getting water accumulation in here it didn't look like it was freezing in here um, but it wasn't draining, so I thought, well, let's take that. Um, let's give that a shot. So the reason I was making this video was um, it was actually very difficult for me to take this apart. I thought I needed a strap wrench or something that I could vice grip all the way around this because I just couldn't get it um, off of this, uh, this header piece here. Um, what I did per their recommendation was to use some penetrating oil. I happen to have some uh, Kral, is how I pronounce it. That may be wrong. Uh, Kral oil. Let that on over for overnight, and that, sure enough, the next day, um, it, it worked better. This comes off. If you were to hold this ring, you turn this just like you would expect, which is lefty to loosey. Um, in case anyone's questioning, sometimes with the foreign things, too, you'll see um, odd left-handed threads. Anyways, um, sure enough, when I took this thing apart, the inside of this piece was a mess. There was huge amounts of... Uh, chalk-like or drywall-like debris inside this filter so I can see why it was uh, not working or something was wrong. I also cleaned this out and then you just walk over to the sink and you pour water in here. You'll now see it drain out when that float valve trips. So uh, I'm going to give this a shot again. If, I, if it works, you probably won't hear anything from me. If I have problems, I'll be sure to follow up with the solution. Thanks.